Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to get in and um, talk about, discuss a little, some um, comments that were in the videos before and I wanted to address those. So today I wanted to talk about the requirements to get into a testnet and also the exit strategy for the testnet. The requirements to get into a testnet, I mean, all you have to do is buy the coin, right? So in the US we're we have limited options in order to get into some of these smaller projects like Frontier. Um, so we, we use KuCoin. Uh, that's one option for sure. We'll go over some other options here in a little bit. So uh, go to KuCoin and get into Frontier and that's all you need to get in uh, the project and to swing trade it. Swing trading really just refers to the amount of holding time that you're going to hold the coin for. So technically we are past the test net and we're on the road to the main net and the main net they say is going to be June 30th or earlier. So we're already past that test net. You can still go ahead and get in this project. And actually um, this project is, uh, this coin is a little bit cheaper than what we were talking about the other night. So at the time I'm making this video, it's $2.97 as you can see. So um, that is much better price than what we were talking about the other night. So you can still go ahead and get in or sell. It doesn't really matter. You don't. There's no requirements to getting into the swing trading of the test net. Um, no extra buttons that you need to push or anything. All you need to be is you, you just need to be in the Frontier coin. So as far as exit strategies, um, personally, um, you know this is my strategy. Of course, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence on this coin before buying it. And um, guys, there's a ton of different exit strategies out there. This is just one of my own that I uh, have been using and um, I, I like pretty well. So I'll go ahead and share that. So scenario one, so this is the best case scenario. If the in initial investment doubles, then I'll go ahead and take 50% profit and leave 50% in the coin. Um, now after that, um, after the mainnet date, if I like the coin, I'll go ahead and probably leave the remaining 50% in the market or in the coin to go ahead and ride out this bull market. So in a way, you can leave a step stone path behind you of all these coins that you have gone into these test nets and hopefully been successful with and leave a lot of these coins behind as a trail in order to grow into further gains for you throughout the bull market. Now the second scenario is probably the worst case scenario of price moving sideways or down. Um, at that point I would probably sell less than 50% of the total investment that I have in the coin and let the uh, rest ride. I do like Frontier Coin. I've been in Frontier since uh, for a couple months now. I uh, want to leave some exposure to this project. And speaking of this scenario too, you can um, you always have to plan for the worst case scenario and at least you are getting into this coin knowing that it has a catalyst behind it, right? So we get into, and I'm, I'm guilty of this too, we get into so many different coins where it might be uh, a cool project or the price might be spiking, we just get into it at a wrong time, but at least you're getting into this project knowing that there's a catalyst behind it being the test net and uh, you're looking to hold this for potentially one and a half months or so. So of course you can see here the price is a little bit better than what we were seeing the other night. The price the other night was around 340 or 350, um, $3.50 a coin. You can see how prices kind of came back down. So if you buy right now you would have a better entry point. Um, now one tip, this is KuCoin or CoinGecko, sorry. CoinGecko and um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see all the different exchanges where this coin is traded. Now, I don't know why they're not showing KuCoin, but you can definitely buy it on KuCoin. That's where I bought um, my Frontier at. So uh, if you are outside the US, you have several different options to trade this coin. 
um, and reviewing the price action of this coin. This is the four hour chart for Frontier and um, we're actually at a pretty good level here. Um, we can see some green dots on the chart meaning that uh, it has came down quite a bit and so the green dots on the chart is a positive sign. It's almost like we're rounding out here um, and also making kind of a move or stabilizing here right around three dollars which is very good as well because the last uh, downward area that we were at was down near two dollars and forty three cents or so so we are having higher lows which is a positive sign if you like this content go ahead and please like subscribe and if you have any comments go ahead and drop them below that's what sparks this video I will be happy to address any questions that you might have um, also the KuCoin link is below. If you don't have KuCoin Exchange, please check it out. All right. Thanks, guys. Happy trading.